splicing the junction box for the four-way switch where the power cable is located. The junction box with the cables that will be spliced to connect the four-way switch. Wiring sketch of the four-way switch in this junction box. Example sketch of a three-way system connection using this junction box connection. Three-wire cable to the first three-way or four-way switch. Three-wire cable to the second three-way or four-way switch. Cable from the power source. Remove the cable sheath. Group the ground, bare, wires together. Select a longer wire for the pigtail wire. Trim the other ground wires to no less than 6 inches. Connect the trimmed wires to the longer pigtail wire with a green wire nut. And then insert the connected wires into the junction box. Group the hot, black, wire from the cable from the power source and from the cable to the first three-way switch, trim them to no shorter than 6 inches, and strip the ends of the wires about one half inch. Using pliers and a wire nut or just a wire nut, connect the wires together and insert them into the junction box. Group the neutral, white, wire from the cable from the power source and from the cable to the second three-way switch, trim them to no shorter than 6 inches, strip the ends of the wires about one half inch, then using pliers and a wire nut or just a wire nut, connect the wires together and insert them into the junction box. Use black electrical tape or other means to mark the white wire from the cable to the first three-way switch as the hot wire, as this wire will no longer be the neutral wire. Group all the wires and pigtail wire, trim them to no shorter than 6 inches and insert them into the junction box. If this video is helpful please subscribe. Comments are welcome.